By looking at the night sky, we get a glimpse that the universe is not just big, it is immensely large. It contains the planets, stars, galaxies, and all other objects, both visible and invisible alike. How big is the universe? It's one of the fundamental questions of astronomy. By looking for the farthest observable point from Earth, thanks to evolving technology, astronomers are able to look back in time to the moments just after the Big Bang. This might seem to imply that the entire universe lies within our view. But the size of the universe depends on a number of things, including its shape and expansion. The universe is a very big place that contains everything, including the things we can and cannot see. The Earth, Sun, Milky Way, black holes, and other stars and galaxies are all part of the universe. And since our home planet is part of the universe, we are, of course, in it too. The size of the universe depends a great deal on its shape. Scientists have predicted the possibility that the universe might be closed like a sphere, infinite and negatively curved like a saddle, or flat and infinite. Now let's find out, how big is the universe? The most prominent idea on the origin of the universe is the Big Bang. According to this theory, the universe started about 14 billion years ago as a single point. This single point experienced rapid expansion to become what we know it today. It was supported by the findings of Edwin Hubble who observed the redshift of galaxies. He also noticed that farther galaxies were moving away faster from Earth. This movement is an indication that the universe is still continuously expanding. The vastness of the universe is more than what the human eye can see. In fact, it is so big that we cannot see its entirety. We can only see a limited part of the universe. For this reason, we use the term observable universe. The observable universe is a ball-shaped region of the universe consisting of all matter that can be observed from Earth or its space-based telescopes and exploratory probes at the present time. The electromagnetic radiation from these objects has had time to reach the solar system and Earth since the beginning of the cosmological expansion. Initially, it was estimated that there may be two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. That number was reduced in 2021 to only several hundred billion based on data from New Horizons. Assuming the universe is isotropic, the distance to the edge of the observable universe is roughly the same in every direction. That is, the observable universe is a spherical region centered on the observer. Every location in the universe has its own observable universe, which may or may not overlap with the one centered on Earth. The co-moving distance from Earth to the edge of the observable universe is about 14.6 gigaparsecs in any direction. The observable universe is thus a sphere with a diameter of about 28.5 gigaparsecs, size in relative terms. It is said that the size of the observable universe is about 93 billion light years across. To get an idea of how big it is, it helps to look at it in terms of our closest celestial neighbors in the solar system. The Moon, the Earth's only natural satellite, is the closest astronomical object to us. According to NASA, it is 384,400 kilometers or 238,855 miles away from us. At this distance, moonlight takes 1.3 seconds to reach us. And if we were to go to the Moon, we can reach there in just about three days. Our central star, the Sun, is 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles from us. This distance equals one astronomical unit. We sometimes use this unit of measurement to give us a perspective of how far other objects are in comparison to the Sun-Earth distance. For example, Pluto is 39.4 for astronomical units from the Sun. It means that this dwarf planet is 39.44 times as far from the Sun as the Earth is. Sunlight travels 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. With that said, the light that we receive on Earth is actually about 8 hours delayed because of the distance. To review, light travels to 199,792 kilometers per second. How fast is the universe expanding? 
the universe is constantly expanding due to cosmic inflation. This expansion is one reason why the universe is so big and that we may never get to see it entirely. The universe seems to be expanding faster than the speed of light. While it is true, it is important to think that the galaxies are not moving by themselves. Instead, they appear to be moving away from each other because the space between them is expanding or getting larger. The Hubble telescope was able to find the expansion rate of the universe by observing Kiffite variable stars. This value is called the Hubble constant. This number is important because it is said to set the scale of the universe in terms of size and age. Hubble found out that the universe is expanding at a rate of 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. One megaparsec equals 3.6 million light years. What this means is that the expansion of the universe increases by 68 kilometers s for every 3.6 million light years that you observe further into space. The expansion of the universe was discovered by Edwin Hubble in 1929. He noticed that the galaxies are moving away from us. And not only that, but the farthest ones also appear to move the fastest. Hubble's discovery has been supported by modern findings. What about the non-observable universe? So, can we say anything about the size of the universe beyond the observable? Not much. One idea is that if the universe expanded at the speed of light during its earliest inflation phase, then it should be 100 sextillion 1023 times bigger than the observable universe. Other researchers performed a clever statistical analysis of measurements to determine the most likely model of the universe. They concluded that the universe is at least 250 times larger than the observable universe, or 7 trillion light years across. But, ultimately, science has no reliable estimate of the actual size of the entire universe. We can never get to the edge of the observable universe, let alone in the actual universe, even if we travel at the speed of light. Aside from not having the technology, the travel time is also way beyond the human lifetime. Not only that, but we also have to consider the constant expansion of space. So even if, say, we can get in there in 225 trillion years, the particle horizon would have already moved farther due to cosmic inflation. The universe is still a big mystery to us for the most part. With our current knowledge and technology, we still do not know its exact shape. Therefore, there is also no way for us to know whether it is finite or infinite. 